Hey guys, what's up? It's Lady, and today I am giving you guys an announcement video for a readathon. If you can't tell from the video title, the readathon is called Smutathon. This readathon was developed between myself and my really good friend Riley from Riley Marie. We were talking about different readathons, and I kind of threw out how I wish that there was a romance specific readathon, and then she started creating challenges for it, and we're like, okay, are we gonna do this? We're gonna do a romance readathon for an entire week that is devoted to romance books. Our challenges are based on tropes. This readathon starts on July 9th, midnight, wherever you live, and then it ends on July 15th at 11.59 p.m. wherever you're at. It's a week-long readathon where we just read a bunch of romance books. You can read any kind of romance books that you want for the entire week. We're gonna be using the hashtag Smutathon on Twitter and on Instagram. We can stay connected with each other and see what each other are reading and hopefully get recommendations. If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, we have seven different challenges that are based on tropes. Those seven tropes are enemies to lovers, friends to lovers, second chance, fake dating, arranged marriage, stranded together, and love triangles. You also get bonus points. Now the points pretty much matter in, in this readathon, but I know I will try be trying to read different subcategories within the romance genre, so I don't want to be reading seven full contemporary romances. I'm going to try to switch it up, bring in some historical, bring in some paranormal romance, bring in some, I don't know, sports romance. I have a kind of a running TBR list of what I'm hoping um, to get to, but I have different options just in case I'm not feeling that anymore. So my TBR for this readathon for the enemies to lovers trope, which is low key my favorite trope. I do have tentatively three different titles. The first one is From Luke Cove With Love by Mariana Zapata. This is a sports romance. And then I also have Hate the Beginning, which is a mafia romance. I also would really like to read a new paranormal romance. I feel like paranormal romances tend to have the hate to love trope in in the books, um, but I just don't know which one to choose. I have a bunch of different options that I could kind of look at, but I just don't know what I'm what I'm feeling yet. For the friends to lovers trope, I have Fighting Silence by Ali Martinez. I know this is a sports romance as well that has to do with like fighting, so MMA, MMA fighting. I haven't read a lot of those, but I'm surprised I haven't. For the next trope is Second Chance, and I have two options here. I have Tycoon by Katie Evans, which is a contemporary. I haven't read Katie Evans before, but I always see her books, so I wanted to read um, one of her books, as well as Getting Schooled by Emma Chase. I liked Royally Screwed, and um, this one has to do with high school sweethearts who are now teachers at their high school, so I thought that sounded really cute. Um, the next trope is Fake Dating, which is probably my second favorite trope behind Enemies to Lovers. For this one, I have three options because there was a lot I was looking at, and I'm like, ooh, that sounds good. I have Prince with Benefits by Nicole Snow, which is a Royals romance. The Fox and the Hound by R.S. Gray, which sounds like a contemporary romance. I also have Running Mate by Katie Ashley. That one is more political, and I'm excited to possibly read that one because I saw really good reviews on it. The next trope is Arranged Marriage, and I thought the time has finally come for me to read a historical romance because I've always wanted to read those kind of books, you know, the ones with like the trashy covers, but I've never read one. So now I can finally do it. I'm going to read a Sarah McLean book, which I know she's a super popular historical romance author, and I'm reading A Rogue by Any Other Name, which I heard is kind of a Persephone and Hades reimagining in a historical Regency setting, so I'm really pumped about that one. I'm very excited to get into historical romance. The next one is Stranded Together, which this one was really hard. <laughs> I had a really hard time trying to find one that I thought I would like, but I ended up choosing Storm by Carrie and Cole, and this is kind of a rock star romance, but snowed in kind of type of deal, so I'm like, I think I might try this one out. The last one is a love triangle, because everybody hates love triangles, and I hate love triangles too, but I also love love triangles. You know, it just depends how it's written. I decided to choose Survival of the Richest by Sky Warren. Sky Warren, I really love her books. Well, I like her later books. Her earlier books, not so much, but her later books are some of, among my favorite dark romances. This one she just released, I think, in the past couple weeks. It features some of the characters that are in some of her other series, and I liked this character, so I'm like, okay, I'd like to read her story, and I know that it is a love triangle as well. So I'm very excited to read this book. I haven't read Sky Warren yet this year, so here's to hoping that I really like this one. That's it for the books that I'm hoping to get to. If you're struggling with trying to find some of these books that fall under these different tropes, I'm going to link some resources down below. Uh, the romance package through Audible has um, a bunch of books listed, by trope. So I'm going to link that down below. Hopefully you can you can still view it without having either the Audible membership, hopefully. Also going to link uh, my ebook romance haul and my 
romance book recommendations because both those videos have books in it that I think would fit really well in these tropes. If you're looking for some books in those categories, um, also my recommendations video, obviously those are ones that I really love. So if you're looking for books that at least I really liked <laughs> and you think you might like too, definitely check that one out as well. That is it for this video. Hopefully if you like romance and you would like to spend a whole week just binging on it, you'd like to join this readathon, I would really like to see you guys do it. I'm going to be on the hashtag throughout the entire week of that July 9th through the 15th. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Lainey. I make videos every week on books and writing and I hope you guys all have a really great day. Bye!